If you watch a lot of my content, you'll know that I am a huge fan of the project management tool Trello, and I use it for basically everything in my business and life. I have lots of content on this already, but if you want to take it a little bit further in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up simple automations that are just going to speed up your workflow a little bit and mean that you don't have to do so many things manually. I'm going to show you a couple of simple automation rules that I've set up on my social media content calendar board on Trello so that you get an idea of how to set these up for yourself on whatever boards you have. So here I am in my social media content calendar um, planning board and as you can see I've got a few different lists here. I've got my to-do list for any pieces of content that I still need to create. I've got my scheduled list for everything that is currently scheduled to be posted out and then I've got my done list where I basically just put everything that has been completed and posted inside. Now I also have my calendar power up um, added to my board which means that if I click that I can view everything in calendar view as well. So what I typically do is just have this open in front of me um, most days on calendar view. So that means that when I have posted out a piece of content what I can do is click on the piece of content here. I can see details about it, I've got my colour coding, whatever. Um, you can also see which list it's currently in. So this is currently in the done list so let's look at something else let's look at this one um, so currently it's in the to-do list which obviously we know when we exit out of calendar mode it's currently sat in this list um, but what I do when I'm sat on calendar mode is I open this up and to say that I've done it and posted it I will just tick this off and then that marks it as complete here and it puts a strike through it on um, calendar view as you can see here but then when I go back off calendar view it's still actually sat in my to-do list and what would be great rather than me moving every everything over manually, whereas it's down here at the bottom, rather than me having to then come in here and move it myself into the done section, what would be great is if it just automatically moved to that done list once I've uh, ticked off that checkbox, which I do in calendar mode. Um, so in order to do this, I'm going to create an automation. So I'm going to click on the automation button at the top and go to rules and this is where I can create a new rule so I'm clicking that blue button and the first thing we want to do is create a trigger so what is going to trigger off this automation to happen and this is where we can find some triggers to do with dates so what we want is when the due date is marked as complete which is when I tick it in a card um, and you can select certain filters about the card you can select if you only want this to happen when a certain person who's been added to your board um, does this action I'm just going to leave those as they are I just want any time that I mark a due date um, as complete on one of my cards is going to be the trigger so I'm going to add that then what I want to happen is it moves the card to that done list so here we've just staying on the move action here so what i want to happen is to move the card to the top of the list or the bottom of the list doesn't really matter i'm just going to keep it to the top and then we can choose a list to move it so and then there's some other filters you can choose but i'm just going to add that and now I'm going to click save and that is just a really simple automation. Um, if you want to find the automations that you have enabled on your board currently when you're in this rules section, because this just shows all of the rules I've ever made or automations I've ever made, just click on all, go to enabled and that will show you all the ones that are just on this board. Um, so I've got um, another one up here, but this is the one we've just created. When the due date is marked as complete in a card, move the card to the top of the list done. So that is enabled. I'm just going to test this out now. Um, so let's just untick that and open calendar view back up. You could do this in the list view that I was just on or in calendar view and it should work. So this is the card that we were talking about. I'm going to open this up and just do what I would do on a normal day once this has been posted. I'm just going to click that to complete it. And then as you can see, that has just moved it to the done list. You can see in the card details, but also if we click off the calendar power up, you can see it has now been automatically moved to the top of that done list. Now, um, let me just test it out with something else. I can test it out uh, from within this list. Let's click done. And then as you can see, that has now moved automatically to done. And there it is. I can actually, when a date has been added to a card, you can literally just tick it 
from hovering over one of these boxes as well in list view, uh, which is handy so you don't actually have to click to open the card. You can just click and then automatically after a second, it will move to the done list. And this just saves a little bit of time having to move things around, keeps my board organized for me automatically. And it's super simple to set up. So you can actually do this the other way around as well. So let's say I actually want to move this piece of content back to my to-do list. What I can do is just click and drag it over there, um, but the uh, date is still checked. It still shows as complete. If I go onto the calendar power up, that's still gonna be crossed out. Um, obviously I can just uncheck it from here, but if I was feeling lazy and I wanted to automate that whole thing, what I can do is again, go into the automation and rules section, create a new rule and create an automation for that. So in this case, the trigger is the card is moving from the list to do. So when a card is added to, let's say the to do list, um, and again, you can set up filters for this, but I'm just going to um, leave it like that, add that as the trigger, then we want to uncheck the date. So click on the date um, and we want to mark the due date as incomplete and click the plus button and then we can click save. That has set up the automation. So I'm just gonna exit out and test this out. So now if I click and drag to move this piece of content to the to-do list, I have my date on here, but it has just been unchecked. So it's showing as red now because that's in the past, but um, that has automatically unchecked the date for me. So those are some examples of really simple ways you can use automations and how to use that feature. Um, again, you could go even more steps into this. So let's say that I had this in the done list here um, and it was checked off. Maybe what I would want to happen is automatically if I uncheck the date, that would then move the card back to the to-do list as well. So there's a couple of things going on which are organizing the cards for me. If I just head into automation and then rules, um, you can see again, if we go to create a rule, the trigger is for me unchecking the date. So when a due date is marked as incomplete and we add that as the trigger, then the card is moved to the top of the list to do. And we add that, we save it. Um, that automation is enabled now. So now if I actually come into my done list and think, oh, actually that wasn't done, I could either click and drag the card to the to-do list or I could just uncheck it and that's gonna automatically move the card and keep it unchecked for me in the to-do list.